Hover effects, especially combined with 3D transformations, add an interactive element to image galleries and encourage visitors to explore further, enhancing overall engagement. These effects can bring your website to life, transforming a static image collection into a dynamic and captivating experience. They also create a sense of depth and dimension, making images more visually appealing and inviting. In this video, we will dive into the world of 3D hover effects and create an eye-catching image gallery. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming tutorials. Let's get ready to impress your audience. As usual, we start with our super simple HTML boilerplate. This first bit of code adds a parent element for the image gallery. Think of it as a container for all our beautiful pictures. Inside, there is another div with the class Gallery Panel, which creates a separate section for each image, and we can follow the same structure to build a gallery of multiple images. Moving on to our CSS, the required styles for the demo page are already set and ready to roll. Next, the Gallery class is set as a flex container to align its child elements. The Justify Content property will keep all panels horizontally centered. Let's focus on the individual panels. As you can see, our images have different dimensions, which directly affects the overall alignment. In this case, the easiest way to assign them an equal width is by setting the flex property to 1. After that, the aspect ratio property is used to dynamically set their height to 150% of their width. For now, let's add a background to outline their boundaries. Moving further, the images should have a width of 100% so they can adjust according to their parent. Applying the same aspect ratio here will ensure they cover the entire vertical space. The object fit property will make sure the images maintain their original aspect ratio, preventing any distortion. Since images are treated as inline elements, they add extra space at the bottom. There are multiple ways to fix this unwanted spacing. We can simply use the display property to set them as block elements. Now we can remove the background and set a few more presentational styles. To further enhance its appearance, we can use the box reflect property to create a reflection of the images. Keep in mind that this feature has limited browser support and requires a WebKit vendor prefix, so expect it to work only in certain browsers. The box reflect property adds a reflection of the element in a specified direction. We used the below keyword to keep the effect at the bottom and the value of 10 pixels defines its offset. So setting this to four pixels will reduce the distance. Similarly, we can adjust the black portion of the gradient to modify its prominence. Let's start preparing for today's 3D effect. First, the parent element requires the transform style property set to preserve 3D. This indicates that its children should be positioned in three-dimensional space. The next step is to transform the child elements. What we are doing is selecting all panels when the parent container is hovered over and then adding the desired set of transformations. Like here, we are adding a perspective of 400 pixels, rotation on the y-axis, and scaling down the image a bit. The perspective defines how far the object is from the user. A smaller value represents a larger transformation, resulting in a more intense 3D effect than a higher value. So if we change it to 40 pixels, the outcome will look different than with the previous settings. There's no one-size-fits-all value for the perspective. You can experiment with different values to achieve the look and feel you want. Now let's add the transition to smooth out the effect. Next, we don't want this to affect the image being hovered over. In other words, the image in the hover state should remain unchanged. And a slight update to our selector definition gives us this flexibility. The not pseudo class targets elements that don't match a list of selectors. In our case, it won't select any element that is a direct child of the parent container and is being hovered over, effectively leaving out the image in the hover state. Then we can use the hover pseudo class to style the currently selected image. A straightforward zoom in effect will elevate the presentation, which we can achieve by scaling up the size. Currently, all non hovered images are facing toward the right side. What we want to do is have the rest of the images face toward the currently selected image. The previous images should be right facing, 
while the subsequent images should be left-facing, with the selected image staying in the middle. We can use the general sibling combinator to achieve this effect. Rotating the subsequent images by negative 30 degrees on the y-axis will change their direction, while the previous images maintain their angle at positive 30 degrees. This is what we have got so far. All images are perfectly responding to the hover state. Let's take a step further and trim down the spacing between images. The margin inline property is a logical shorthand that allows us to set both left and right margins simultaneously. This CSS rule defines the negative margins of 1.5 rem on both sides. We have a detailed video explaining logical properties and how to use them for better CSS layout. Feel free to check it out. Additionally, adding a box shadow to the currently selected image can add depth to the design and enhance it further. There is one more minor adjustment needed. Currently, a mouse over on the parent element triggers the animation, which can sometimes produce undesired results. For example, it may animate even if the mouse is placed between two images and can misbehave in some browsers, especially Mozilla and Safari. To resolve this, we can set pointer events to none for the parent container and then reset it for the child elements. This will ensure that the animation only triggers when hovering directly over an image. And that's a wrap on creating stunning 3D hover effects for image galleries. By using 3D transformations, we can add depth and movement to the user interface, drawing attention to key elements and creating a more immersive experience. They not only enhance the visual appeal, but also improve user interaction and engagement. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and share it with fellow developers. Subscribe to our channel for more front-end development tips and tricks. Let us know your experience with 3D effects in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.